Clothes moss can be a very frustrating problem to have. And if you think you have clothes moss, it can be difficult to find good information out there on what to do. But what I'm here today to show you is an easy way to get a handle on these little guys and get them out of your closet. What I like to do is use a clothes moth trap. They're totally non-toxic and safe to use around your pets and children inside your home. So what you do is you take the lure, put it in the glue, close up your trap, and set it on a shelf or on the floor where you're suspecting the clothes moth activity. This will attract the adult moths that are flying around your closet. Not only does this trap capture the male moths, but it also captures the females. And why that's important is, for every female you catch, you're actually catching all of the eggs she carries as well. Now not only is this trap great for capturing lots of moths, but it also will help you determine where the clothes moths are coming from within your closet. And once you figure that out, you might also find some clothing that has been damaged by the moths. An interesting fact is, it's not actually the adults you see flying around that do the damage. It's the little larvae, which look like little caterpillars. So there's a few ways, without using harsh chemicals or calling an expensive exterminator, that you can treat your clothes that have been damaged. One way is to take the items and put them in a sealed bag and put them in the freezer for about a week. Another option is to take the clothes and put them in a sealed bag and take them to your local dry cleaner. Now when I get these clothes back and I know they've been treated and they're free of clothes moss, I like to put them in a vacuum sealed bag before I put them back in my closet. This will ensure the clothes moss will not get back at those clothes. Now these traps will last about 30 to 60 days, but what I like to do is put a fresh trap out, that way I can check it regularly and be notified right away if another problem arises. I know this process can seem daunting at first, but if you stick with it and follow these steps, you will get these clothes moths out of your closet and out of your life.